Tink here and I'm going to do our Pokemon Center haul. There was quite a few things. Um, we went to two different Pokemon centers. We went to went blah, 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 blah. we went to one in Ikebukuro and we went to one in the Sky Tree and both had um, similar merch, nothing too different, but I would say don't go <laughs> probably anywhere in Tokyo at the weekend because it is absolutely rammed. It's really, really busy. And the first time you went when we went to Ikebukuro, it was really busy. And so a lot of the shelves were a little bit more empty and it was harder to see the merch. So um, you're kind of fighting to get to the plushy section, um, which seems to be where everyone wants to go. Um, so yeah, I was, it was really worth going back again on a weekday. So um, I'll start with some small things and um, see what we got. I really wanted to get a good selection of badges while I was on holiday and my husband was doing the same too. So um, I really wanted to have like a cute little metal badge of a Pokemon, but like they didn't really have any um like you know the little ones um but the cutest one i found was um a vulpix and that is from the latest games and i'm gonna say she um he she is really super duper cute and i'm putting all my badges on my bags at the moment i'm really glad i got that one so cute the only thing i would say about these ones because i had a range of them they kind of feel like paper um on the outside and it's actually already wearing and it's only been on my bag for like a couple of weeks and the edges are wearing thin um so i would just play caution with that and maybe put it somewhere where it's not going to get bashed about um i really liked when i went to the pokemon center all the like homeware goods so like cups not just cups but like bowls and um, rice spoons and things like that and little containers and things i really like that because you can get plushies in a lot of places and I wanted to go for something a bit different. So they have this really, really cute range. Um, I'm gonna get it, I can get it out of the package now. Um, it is so super cute. Basically in the Pokemon centers, they have lots of different ranges of different sort of patterns of the Pokemon. Um, I just fell in love with this mug because of the colours on it and the pictures. Oh my goodness, oh my lord. That's so cute. Oh wow. It's the first time I've got it out of the packaging. It's so cute, look at it. And it says spring, spring, spring. The thing I found about going to Tokyo um, in the springtime, at Easter time, was a lot of different merch in different shops, not just Pokemon was all themed around that season. So we went at the best season for pastel colours. It was fantastic. If you ever want to go to Tokyo and your thing is pastelness, go in spring, go at Easter time because they have more ranges of cute things. Especially if you go in the Sakura season. Sakura means cherry blossom. And in Japan, cherry blossom is a massive, massive um, time of the year that they celebrate and everything is sort of cherry blossom themed so even if you have a look on the cup there are cherry blossoms cherry blossoms are very important to um, people in Japan and I, I love it because it's so beautiful so yeah I love this cup I'm gonna keep it all the time and put my juice in it <laughs> um, I did get one little plush and well you can't see it in the video so you can tell my favourite Pokeball is the Master Ball because of the colours more than anything. Um, it's super pretty. I made this necklace. If you want one like this, let me know. I'll make you one. Um, I can put them in my shop. Um, but <laughs> basically, um, I made a little made. I bought a little plushy Master Ball. It's super cute! And I think this one, I was looking at other little plushy things this size. This one was really good value compared to the other ones, I don't know why, but I went for this one because it's cute. It fits my aesthetic. Yes, it does. So cute. And on the same lines, my husband really wanted a Pokeball and he wanted a master ball too so he got a massive master ball and i have a feeling this is literally just to throw at me at random occasions i'm sure it is i'm i'm seriously sure it is but it is literally a big plushie it's got beans in it too it's a beanie one it's beanie 
Um, but yeah, it is a big master ball from Tokyo. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, uh, la 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 la. Right, something else that I got next. You can unwrap it with me. How exciting. So I've got a couple of these because I might have got someone a gift. Maybe. But I really like these because they were really, really good value for what they are. I find that in Japan, homeware items are really, really good value. Um, if you go to like Daiso or anywhere that sells cups and plates and spoons and forks and everything, it's really, really good value. So just, just think about that if there's anything you really want. Like, so I got a rice spoon. And it's got a Pika Pika on it, it's a Pikachu! It says on it Pocket Monsters because in Japanese they're called Pocket Monsters, Pokemon. But it is a little Pikachu rice spoon. It's so cute, I absolutely love it. I haven't actually got a rice spoon and it's proper like ceramic, I guess. Um, so I'm so super happy with that, this is the cutest thing when I'm eating my rice that I can put Pikachu in my mouth. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. I actually kind of want more. Could have probably bought more. Um, I'm going to do one of my husband's purchases now. So this beautiful box with a Pika Pika on it. Um, Pikachu, Pikachu. He's really, really smart. And there's Pikachu. And you can see his butt. So this one is beautiful, it's very sort of, I don't know what to describe that style as, it's lovely, it's just lovely. So you have Pika Pika and it's kind of like a, is it a baseball game theme, I don't know, I don't know these things, my husband liked it, he got it, there we go, <laughs> it is really really nice. Really lovely. I'm trying to see if I can see how much yen it was on it. Oh, I don't think there's a price on it. Oop. Should I leave plushies till last? My husband got plushies. I'll leave them till last. Um, I really, really love this. As soon as I walked in to the Pokemon Center, the first one we went in, in Ikebukuro, I just fell in love with it. It is beautiful. Look at the colors. The colors are amazing. I didn't care what it was. I just like the design and I was like, I'm going to get it because it is gorgeous. Now, I had a feeling that it was probably a tin to put things in. <laughs> that would be a good start. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's got three sections and I was right when I got it home. Each section comes undone and it is a pot and each in each section are sweets. And I just, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. I like how it's all the bits come out. I got some little, ooh, they're kind of like little crunchy biscuits. Um, what was in the top one? I think the top one was, oh, the middle one was yellow sweets, and the top one was pink sweets. Um, my plan for this is to use it as like a tea container because I eat, eat, I drink a lot of loose leaf tea and I thought that would look super super cute in my cupboard. Um, like the design of each section, I'll just show you, is gorgeous. They're all like sleepy Pokemon. Sleepy Pokemon. Now these are like all the Eevee evolutions. Sylveon. I think that's pretty much, I think it's all of them, I think it is. And then after that like each layer is kind of random I guess like the middle one has got Growlithe uh, yeah it's kind of a bit more random that one Vulpix in there cutie bums and then the top one the top one has got Pika Pika All the cuties, all the cuties. I literally think they just put all the cutest Pokemon on this. I was like, mmm. Mine, thanks. <sighs> Love it so much. Mmm. Goodness. Sweetie, cutie, goodness. Um, my husband got this. Now, 
for those of you who love Mario and love Pokemon, this is perfect for you. Um, David said that this is basically a kind of re-illustration of a famous picture, a famous Mario picture. Um, he knows everything about this, I don't. Um, but um, it is absolutely stunning. I love the artwork of it. It is absolutely gorgeous. If I can find the picture that I'm referring to, I'll try and stick it in here to show you what I mean. Um, but it is actually a re-illustration of, of a picture that he was in love with. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, he hasn't opened it, so I'm not going to open it. But um, I assume... I think it's got biscuits in it. Um, most of these have got like biscuits or sweets in, and it is a proper tin, so he can fill it up with all his lovely goodness. But yeah, just take some time to appreciate the artwork on it. It is beautiful. We have a Super Mario Pikachu. Like, what more could you get? Seriously. Look at the cuteness. Yes. One more shot of that beautiful, beautiful front of that tin. Lovely, lovely job lace. I love it, it's so cute. Okay, so then David got a couple of little plushies. Um, right at the end of this video, I'm gonna put in, there's a couple of things we've bought for people, um, but I don't want you to see those things, if, just in case. So um, hopefully I'll just put this video up once we've given the gifts to those people, <laughs> fingers crossed. But anyway, I've got two more things before I show you a couple of gifty bits. Um, so David got, I'm gonna make sure I get the names right because I will get killed. Um, Mimikyu, like Pikachu, but it's a Mimikry Pokemon. So Mimikyu, um, it is all the rage at the moment. I've seen lots of pins of this Pokemon going round. Everybody needs a pin. It's got a lovely tail and it's basically so mimicry is something that copies something else. So kind of like Ditto copies things, but I believe Mimi Mimikyu Mimikyu is um, is like something that copies Pikachu. I, I guess anyway. I'm probably completely wrong, but um, yeah, it's just so cute. Look at that squishy, confused face. Eh. But yeah, it's so soft. It is like the softest thing you could imagine. It's super squishy, super duper squishy. Oh, I love it so much. And it's, I like the underneath, it's a squeeze, it's a velvety, velvety Mimikyu. So my husband got one more plushie, which he thought was the most adorable thing ever. Um, and this is an Alolan, 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 um, Raichu. And, oh my God, it's so cute. Um, it is by a Pokemon Dolls range, and it I think the Dolls range are all much sort of cuter, almost like Chibi. Chibi is kind of like a cute effect of something, um, like a Chibi, Chibi version. And look at his super cute tail! Arrgh! He's so cute! He can go on the pile with all the cuties. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. Cutie! Mwah! When we went to the Pokemon stores, Pokemon centres, they gave us brilliant bags. The bags were cute. So cute. Look, they're Pokemons. And they kept asking us if we wanted extra bags, so we were just like, yes please, thank you. <laughs> just because of the cuteness. And there's a massive Pika Pika! Pika! Cool, so there's just a couple of other cutie things that um, we got for people. So for one of our friends, um, who we wanted to say a massive thank you to for doing photography at our wedding um, basically free of charge to help with their portfolio we got him a super duper Cubone he is adorable look at him isn't he cute um, I just love him I love the story behind him as well my husband was telling me about it um, if you don't know about that, then I'm sure there's a video somewhere that explains the story of Cubone. There are basically a lot of, um, kind of myths that Cubone is actually wearing the skull of its dead mother. Bum bum bum! And that it's a Kangas Kangaskhan. Um, it's actually a baby Kangaskhan. But there's no proof that this is actually true. But there are lots of myths and Mythbuster stuff out there, so go check that out. But I like the, the idea of that, um, that he, yeah, it's a bit creepy, 
a bit creepy, but um, super, super duper cute, super cute. Look at him, look at him. Oh, I wish I could keep him. And then for my other friend who did photography at our wedding um, to help with her portfolio as well, these people are so generous, um, I got her and um, I chose these. I got her a um, rice spoon like mine, but I also wanted to get her the matching bowl. So the matching bowl looks like this. And it's all cute, and it says Pocket Monsters Sun and Moon Pikachu. Pika Pika! And it's got little polka balls and little Pika Pika Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu, Choo Choo. And um, it's like really nice texture. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, and just got the matching spoon with that as well. So, <sighs> thank you again to people who are up to our wedding. Massively appreciate it. So much love. So many also, while we were at the Pokemon centres, um, I think when you spent over something like, it was something like 5,000 yen, so it's about uh, 35, 40 quid, I think it was anyway, um, we got, every time we did that, we got a Pokemon card. And these, I believe, are limited edition. Um, they were, we got three in total in the end, um, but they were always the same card, so I don't know whether they were unique to um, the Pokemon Center, which I think they are, because if you have a close look at them, um, here in the corner it actually says Pokemon Center. So we're gonna keep these pretty damn safe because we think that they are probably very special. And um, yeah, they are super, super, duper, duper cute. I can't remember the name of this Pokemon. Someone tell me, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all written in Japanese, which is quite cool. It's nice to have a Pokemon card actually in Japanese. And um, we're going to give a couple of these to people as well. Um, but we're going to try and keep them super duper safe because there are probably not a lot of them around. So yeah, awesome to get an actual Pokemon card at Pokemon Center. So yay! <laughs> Even the bag it came in has like Pokemon all over the little plastic bag. So cute! Um, that is the end of our Pokemon haul of stuff from the Pokemon centres. Um, here's just like a couple of little photos, clips of us while we were there. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, want to see more, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff because if you give me some love, I'll give you some love back. Stay cute, stay kawaii and come back for more of that loveliness. Bye!